The sun is just beginning to rise. The streets of Asio are still quiet, and the Norski Nook is bustling. It's a small place, but its reputation is huge. That reputation was built on hard work and lots of good food. The woman responsible for it all, Helen Meyer. Oh, it's just a small little cafe. I don't call it very big. It's, we try to make it homey like uh, your own um, like a kitchen at home, you know, to, or dining room, I should say, serving people like uh, all the things your mother used to make, you know. Somebody reminds me, how did you, everything is such a name. <laughs> well, I guess when I first took it over, and the, the fellow sat in the corner drinking coffee every morning, you know, and I, a lot of them were Norwegian, so you, I figured that kind of Norsk, and then the Nook, I figured meant a corner. I don't know if I'm right or not on that, or maybe it's not even, doesn't mean anything, but I thought Norsky Nook sounded pretty good. <laughs> Norwegian corner, that's what I kind of thought. Two patties or three links. By 6.30 each morning, there's a steady stream of customers settling into their favorite corners. For some, this daily gathering is a ritual. Must been four six this morning. They come for the companionship, but breakfast is also on their minds. They eat pancakes, twice the size as normal cakes, sweet rolls, cinnamon rolls, glazed donuts, and more, all baked fresh. And if homemade pie is your weakness, you'll have a hard time being strong at the Norsky Nook. Welcome to Helen's workshop. Her pies are world famous. She makes 12 different kinds every day, one at a time, served fresh, and never without a topping. She says she really doesn't know what got this whole pie obsession started. Well, that's the funny part of it. I really don't know. <laughs> when I first started, I, the gal was here before. She said, well, you, Helen, you've got to have a custard. You've got to have a lemon. Uh, you've got to have an apple. And there was one other kind I can't even remember. Well, it was blueberry, what it was. Uh, anyway, there was four different kinds that I had to have. So I started out with those, but pretty soon I was making those four, I went to five, and then to seven, and then to twelve, and then to twenty. <laughs> Yesterday it must have been over a hundred. Her friend Lorraine is the only person allowed to help. When she's off, I make off. Make off. I get someone to help me stir them. Mm -hmm. Right, Lorraine. Right. My right hand down here in the social. And between the two of them, they pump out more than 500 pies every week. They've been selling a lot of them. It really keeps us jumping back there. And it takes, as you probably, if your, your mother has made pie, you realize how long it takes to make a pie. But um, some people, you know, I realize that they come in and like to get one of this and one of that. and. Uh, but it just takes a little time to do them all. So I hate to disappoint them, but you know, <laughs> I can't, you can't bake them more so fast. <laughs> Not many people leave here disappointed, and they keep coming back. Helen has had visitors from all over the United States and from several other countries. All this from a place that doesn't have to spend a dime on advertising. The advertising that we got in the, the cookbooks, the food books, the road book, Back in 76 or 78, really started it rolling when this couple came through to uh, find out the restaurants close to the interstate that had good food and reasonably priced. And, and so they wrote a book called Road Food and we were, they had 10 three-star restaurants in there. 
and we were rated one of those three star. Then Esquire came along and wrote up an article on each of the three star restaurants, those ten, so that's how we got written up in there. To keep the pie reputation strong, Helen's grocery list has to be long. In one year alone, she goes through 7,000 pounds of butter, 800 pounds of sour cream, 13,000 pounds of flour, 7,800 pounds of sugar, and a mere 964 dozen eggs. Not to mention the special ingredients. <laughs> we burn the calories out. <laughs> right now, strawberry pie seems to be your customer's favorite, but she says the public's taste changes with the seasons. One thing that Helen hopes will never change is the overall quality of the food served at the Nook. Most of the recipes are her own, and she insists her cooks follow them closely. I usually say what you, you know, when you work here, you'll make them my way, because I've started that way. Helen puts in countless hours at the Nook. Sometimes this job can be a challenge. She says she couldn't do it without one essential ingredient, her sense of humor. I always tell the girls, I said, when it gets busy now, remember to laugh because it calms you, I think it makes, well, calms you down or keeps you so that you don't lose your head in a little bit, you know. I always like to have a lot of fun and, uh, and I hope everybody enjoys coming. Thank you. Enjoy your pie.